This episode of Tonari no Sekiken, we get to see bear mountain climbing. Damn, that is freaking hilarious. Now, this is fun. We get to see how Seki is just playing with another classmate in front of him. He's just instigating some form of problems, which is just very freaking entertaining. Getting to see how he's putting a clip on the back of someone's collar and uh, pulling a string trying to make a bear climb up someone's shirt like a Mount Everest mountain or something. That was funny. This is something I did not expect, and this was a really good episode for that. Rumi's faces were off the charts with adorableness and just absolutely cute. I mean, the way she was so shocked, smiling, and says, oh, I guess I can, you know, take a break and I can just watch Seki mess around and play. And I was like... You know, Rumi, you've been messing around every episode not watching, you know, your teacher teach class. And so this is really funny. I've been saying it every time. Rumi is really just distracting herself now. She's not even trying to listen to class now. And I find this very funny. Really, this episode was just so enjoyable. Getting to see another character introduced to the mix. I love the way Tonari no Sekikun is introducing other characters now in the series to mix up the entire plot and add more, I guess, different originality to the series. Like, adding other characters where Seki has conflict with makes it more entertaining, I think, and it'll add different things and events that most likely will happen in the future. I mean, like last episode, we had, you know, the girl that was introduced as mistaking Seki and Rumi's relationship like they were going out. And in this episode, we have where Seki is playing with fire with a student that's actually trying to listen to class and puts a clip on the back of his collar. That is freaking funny. The way you see Seki just smile all evilly after his, the classmate turns around and starts to do work again. You see the evil face on my shaded out. And he's doing the clip and he turns around and he's like, Ooh, and gets all down, reading the book on that. That was funny. I, I feel like Tonari no Seki-kun is such a great series. I enjoyed it every week. And I love the different antics the way it's done. Now, I want to talk about the animation this episode. The animation in that scene where you get to see the mountain with the bear climbing it. And you get to see Seki and Rumi just staring off in the distance. I thought the animation that was so beautiful. It's not the best animation I've ever seen. But it was definitely better than some scenes I've seen in Tonari no Seki-kun. We all know the budget of Tonari no Seki-kun does have the best animation. But I felt like I should mention that noteworthy animation. That looked really good compared to the other scenes I have seen. Now, the voice actors, once again, did a good job, and I felt like I got so much enjoyment on this episode. Once again, I want to also say, it's going to be sad to see this series end, just because of how much I love it. I'm looking forward to the next episode, because it was so much enjoyment getting to see this. I wonder what Antic Seki is going to be able to do next week. I mean, I, I really cannot believe how many different things Seki can do at his desk. I mean, now he's doing bear mountain climbing with little, like, toy bears climbing someone's shirt. What in the hell is going to happen next? Are they going to introduce a new character next week? I mean, what will happen? You know, everybody, tell me your thoughts on this episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? And what was your favorite moment about it? What did you think about the animation? What did you think about the other character being introduced now with the classmate in front of Seki? Do you think they should do this more in the series? Let me know in the comments below. Y'all wonderful day now. Wherever you live, please stay safe. Chibi out.